Hey everyone, it's Akis here, and today we are on TierMaker.com because I thought it was a good idea to make a tier list of every single map in the game that's been officially released. Why? Because I've recently hit 2k and I want to celebrate in one way or another. So without further ado, let's start, shall we? First off, we got 2 Fort. Off to a good start, aren't we? You know, 2 Fort is just ass. It's not a well-balanced map at all, at least for today's TF2. Double Cross. Uh, it's a decent D. Landfall. I absolutely fucking love this map. CTF Sawmill. Oh boy. I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna get hated or loved for this, but this is bottom of the bin at the local Walmart. Turbine. It's got the same problem as 2 Fort, except now it's more cramped. CTF Well. Um, well, the memes are okay about the middle, about Well, you know, the giant train tracks. Eh, it's E tier. Snowfall. If it's Landfall, I love it. 2 Fort Invasion. They just took 2 Fort and made it worse. If I had its own tag, I would just tag it 2 Fort Invasion. 5 Gorge. We're getting into the 5 CP maps. Alright, let's go. 5 Gorge. A definite B tier. 5 CP Badlands. Absolute A tier. I love this map. Cold Front. Hmm. C. Fast Lane. Insufficient experience. I have not played that one too much. Foundry. Uh, yeah, that's definite C tier. It's an okay map. Freight. What the fuck is wrong with this map? There's, an, there's a serious exploit going on in this map. We can put sentries in the sky and it's impossible to get to the final point. Legit. I'm tempted to put it at the bottom of the bin, but it plays well, so E. Granary. One of the six original maps. Hmm. C tier. Gully Wash. What's this one again? Oh yeah, it's that map. Uh, it's a D tier. I'm not, I'm not very much of a fan of that style of 5 CP, especially the middle point where you actually have to stand on the high ground. Leaving like literally just soldiers to cap. Is this, wasn't this map made just for competitive? Metalworks. Insufficient experience. I swear I want to like these maps. But like... Some of them I've barely played. Powerhouse, though. Absolute S tier. Process? Oh, that's a B tier. Snake Water. I played this once back in the competitive beta. Um, it lasted forever, but I love the map. Especially because they added snakes to Snake Water. Literally, not even models. They're, 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 they are displacements. As a mapper, I find that. Why? Sunshine. Um, sunshine, sunshine. Oh, it's oh, it's oh, it's that map. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a different date here. CP Vanguard, not to be confused with Call of Duty Vanguard. <clears throat> um, that's a definite C tier. I played this a lot during Tough Break, but I didn't, I didn't enjoy it that much. Five CP Well. It works a little bit better than CTF Well, I guess. D tier. Yukon. Insufficient experience. Dust Bowl. I want to fucking Egypt. Mm, it's just better Dust Bowl, really. C tier. Gorge. As in attack defend gorge. Well, it's okay. 5 CP is better though. Gravel Pit. Oh boy. I am getting way ahead of myself, but I think I think Gravel Pit's an S tier map. Junction, get the fuck out of my sight. Mercenary Park, get the fuck out of my sight. You're an awful map. Two close quarters. Moss Rock. I haven't played this one. I've heard it has a few glitches on it, but I've heard it plays well. Then again, I haven't played it that much myself, so I can't really give an opinion. So in insufficient experience it goes into. Mountain Lab. Uh, oh yeah, that's a definite A tier. Snowplow. End of the Lions, um, big hurrah map. Uh, I would say it's a D tier, yeah. 
steal S tier all the fucking way. The Groot Keep. Uh, I would say it's definite B tier. I mean, it's fun, but it's not the best. Standin, the only map in the domination game mode. This should really rework this so it works more like another type of domination, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like the, the one that works like Call of Duty. I'll explain another day. But this one is a definite D tier. Because the only thing that's holding it back is because it's the fact that the only thing that's holding it back is that it takes too long to cap. Hydro. We as a species were not prepared for Hydro. Bad water. Oh yes, that's an A tier map. Bomb Blitz. C tier. Not the best, but not the worst either. Borneo. B tier. Cactus Canyon? Absolute fucking S tier. Please finish the goddamn map! Enclosure. Insufficient experience. Frontier. Uh, the one with the train? Eh. It gets- it's good at first, but then blue gets a really bad spawn, so D tier it is. Gold Rush, the first ever payload map. Hmm. You go into B. Hoodoo. Bottom of the bin. Pier. Insufficient experience. I haven't played that one that much. Snowy Coast. That's the one with the spaceship, right? Uh, yeah, that's definitely B tier. Swiftwater. I love this map. As a matter of fact, one of my moderators in my Discord, which you should join, by the way, um, sent me an image of just how much sightline red, a red sniper can have just on the first point alone. Thunder Mountain. Hmm. A definite A tier. Upward. It's like, it's like, it's basically the shipment of TF2. But it's good. Woodville. Get the fuck out of my sight. Uh, Asteroid, again. Ins I have insufficient experience with this one, but it's okay. Banana Bay, insufficient experience. Hightower, B tier. I'm gonna get crucified for this one, aren't I? Nightfall, payload race. Uh, I prefer Pipeline more, this one goes in E tier. And Pipeline goes in C tier. Fire, Arena, we're onto Arena now. I'm gonna need that. Arena. I have no experience with Arena whatsoever, but what I do know is that the, the, it fucking sucks. But Bire is an okay concept. I tried to do one of the I tried to do the Bire concept for one of my maps, Hackney Yard. Granary for Arena. Oh boy. Insufficient experience. Same thing goes with Lumberyard. Insufficient experience. Arena Nucleus. Insufficient experience. Off Blast. I love the art style, but it's just insufficient experience all the way. I don't know how to play Arena. I've never, I've never played Arena mode. Outside of Versus Saxon Hale, which doesn't even count for this video. Ravine. Again, insufficient experience. Arena Sawmill. Insufficient experience. Watchtower. Only I only really played it in Versus Saxon Hale. And, well, well, Arena. Insufficient experience. King of the Hill. Badlands. Eh. It's okay. Brazil. You're going to fucking Brazil. It's it's a good casual map, but it's an awful competitive map. Harvest. Same syndrome. Good casual map, awful competitive map. High Pass. Eh, it's an S tier. I love that map. I played a lot in Tough Break. Cough King. If it weren't from Yuzelk's old, um fucking zombie medic videos, I would never have liked this map as much as I do. So it's an A tier. Lakeside. Well, it's Ghost Fort, but I like it. Lazarus. Never played it. Cough Nucleus. Absolute fucking B for banger. Probed. You know I like this one. It's a good map. King of the Hill Sawmill. It's Sawmill, but it works well for the King of the Hill. C tier it is. Swedish, absolutely instant S tier. Viaduct. Uh, that's a, that's a C tier for me, dog. Doomsday. Whew. I'm gonna get blasted on for this, but I think Doomsday is an S tier map. 
if only we could play it now. All the MVM maps, I'll take them on for another day. So let's go for manpower. Foundry. That's a D tier. Manpower Gorge. Main that Lewis is gonna fucking crucify me for this one, but it's a B tier. The winner of manpower maps is actually Hellfire. Thunder Mountain. It's a close A. And now we're on to pastime. Okay. Brickyard. Pastime. Insufficient experience. Timbertown. Insufficient experience. Watergate. Absolutely love this map. And finally, Snowville. Hmm. Intuition experience, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna keep the keep the Halloween maps for next for next Halloween when that comes out, so I can do a tier list on that. So that should be the tier list. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna save and download it. That's about it. Thank you all for watching. There's, there, I, I'm serious. There's no really no, in, and there's really no output. This is just like as impromptu as it'll ever get.